Hi, welcome to Bookie. Today we will unlock the book Teaching Outside the Box, How to Grab Your Students by Their Brains. In 1983, the United States Department of Education pointed out in a report entitled A Nation at Risk that more than 50% of primary and high school students in the country have failed English, math, science, history, and geography exams. This report sparked widespread concern across the nation and became a major driving force behind elementary and secondary education reform in the U.S. Education is vital to a nation's vitality and teachers play a key role in it. Enhancing teaching quality thus emerges as teachers' top concern. However, both novice and experienced teachers struggle to change students' behavior and hold their attention in classes. But is it right to address teachers' expectations by altering how students behave? The author of the book in question Lou Ann Johnson believes that such stereotypes about education are like a box that locks everyone inside, impeding the healthy development of education. To push past this impediment, we need to jump out of the box which is a metaphor for perceiving ourselves and our students in a different light. This book Teaching Outside the Box offers a series of teaching strategies to improve teaching quality. This book analyzes the essence of education and explores the truth of the classroom from a new perspective. Through case studies, stories, and anecdotes, it argues that teachers need to shift focus, namely to change their own behaviors and concepts to elicit different responses from students, instead of changing student behaviors to meet teachers' expectations. The scientific theories and practical teaching strategies discussed in this book enable teachers to quickly grasp the methods to stimulate student interest in studying, thereby creating a lively classroom and making classes and studying more enjoyable for both teachers and students. This book is not only a guidebook for American elementary and secondary school teachers, but was also long listed as one of the 100 books that influence teachers in other countries. It is well received among teachers the world over. So who is Lou Ann Johnson? She is a famous American educator and a New York Times best-selling author. She was also a guest on Oprah and has worked at several points in her career as a U.S. Navy journalist, a U.S. Marine Corps officer, a high school and university teacher. She has designed and held workshops on classroom management and motivation for teachers in the United States. She is a fervent advocate for school reform and has delivered important lectures to more than 100 organizations, including the National School Boards Association, the National Council on Curriculum Development, and the European Council of International Schools. Additionally, she is the author of seven non-literary works such as Queen of Education, The Girls in the Back of the Class, My Posse Don't Do Homework, and Kickstart Your Class, academic icebreakers to engage students. Next, we will approach this book in three parts. Part 1, Change Traditional Perceptions of Teaching. Part 2, Strategies for Improving Teaching Quality from Teachers' Perspectives. Part 3, Strategies for Improving Teaching Quality from Students' Perspectives. For a long time, Teachers, parents, and people from other walks of life all agreed that teachers should know more than students and that students should follow teachers' instructions all the time. A student is comparable to a machine that follows whatever command we input. The reality is that students are inclined to object to or even resist following instructions that teachers give, resulting in a long tug of war between teachers and students. So what went wrong? Johnson believes that this stereotype stems from our traditional perceptions of teaching. To dispel this stereotype, we need to jump out of it and change the focus of the teaching profession. We need to alter our cognitive and behavioral patterns to garner students' positive responses rather than obsess over changing their behaviors and compelling them to meet teachers' expectations. This undertaking mainly is reflected in three respects, teachers' tasks, teaching methods, and teaching content. Let's look at the teacher's tasks first. Many people see teacher's main role as one of giving classes and all they are supposed to do is impart knowledge and skills. But Johnson argues that teaching is only the basic part of the job. Their primary